Hello, welcome back. Yeah, today is the day in a way. Today is the day of the first video I do a comparison between a new reissue, new remaster reissue against an original pressing. Uh, I uh, announced that in the in the last MoFi video and yeah, now we start with it. I've ordered several other OGs. That is the reason why some of, of uh, uh, recent releases are a bit delayed because I just want to want to compare those against OGs. I think after our experience with, with MoFi it, it really makes sense and also without MoFi. I think that really makes sense. But before before I start, I want to say thank you to six to six people. I want to say thank you to John Russell, Heike Rast, Pass the Head Records, Daniel Winnecke, Felipe Sales, and Taco Seven. Those six are the first six channel members. I thank you very much for your support, especially now that I also have to get those OGs. Highly appreciated. Thanks a lot for the for the support. Yeah, today we have little feet waiting for Columbus. Here we have the new reissue, new remaster, in a gatefold cover jacket, and I compare it to a 1978 OG pressing the so-called Los Angeles pressing also in a gatefold cover or jacket better said and yeah that was quite a ride I can promise you this is it has been spectacular okay but but first things first we now go like always through the packaging of the new reissue and it comes with this hype sticker. On the hype sticker, it says, one of the greatest love, uh, live albums of all time. True. Brand new cut from the original master tapes. Important. Featuring violin, Dixie Chicken, Spanish Moon, Fat Man in the Bathtub, and many more. One fact. <laughs> and that's really strange. One fact is not on the hype sticker. The mastering engineer isn't uh, 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 mentioned. And the master engineer, I saw that on the dead wax, is Bernie Grundman, the man himself. Not as sometimes rumored uh, Chris Bellman, due to the dead wax, the man himself, Bernie Grundman, did the cut, which is, of course, quite something. The records are pressed in the Czech Republic, which probably means GZ. And also a good news, uh, uh, because that hasn't been always the case. In the US and in Europe, you get the Bernie Grundman cut, so there is no no uh, different versions here for this time, quite important. Yeah, what an live album recorded in 1977 on four concerts, um, I think in London and, and Washington. It was at the end of, of, of the band's career when, when things doesn't go too well between two band members and they decided to do a live recording. They recorded stuff for three albums, but they have to re reduce the costs of the production. And so they put it out as a double album in 1978. And this, of course, manifested their, uh, 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 yeah, their stand as one of the best live bands, at least in their decade you know this memphis r&b soul country melange great stuff great music a fantastic and fantastic album really really great so 
I think if you're into that kind of rock, country rock, blues, this is a a must-have. It's it's a must-have. It, I think there is no doubt about it. And and of course now we have um, a new remaster from Bernie Grundman, which is of course quite something. Okay, now for the comparison between the OG and the remaster. I bought an American 1978 OG. It's over Discogs. It said it's the uh, 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 Los Angeles pressing. I got it for 25 euros, so very reasonable price. And then, yeah, then I compared. And as I was, okay, which one do I start? I started with the OG. I put it on. I said, okay, now I can go to bed and sleep. Unbelievable. <laughs> it was unbelievable, or it is unbelievably good sounding record. Clear, transparent, punch, soundstage, fresh as hell. Fresh as hell. I didn't, did I say it's a VG plus? VG plus. That was the, how, the, how the OG was labeled. No click, no tick, nothing. Wow. And the sound of it, I really, 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 really was surprised. And I thought, poor, poor Bernie Grundman, poor audiophile or whatever, skip audiophile, pure, uh, uh, poor remaster. And then I put on, I listened completely to the OG and I, I was stunned. It's a fantastic sounding record. And then I put on Bernie Grundman's cut, the new uh, uh, remaster reissue. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Bernie nailed it again. Again. The original is a bit louder, so I put up the volume a bit so that we have fair uh, 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 circumstances and I listened to the whole thing and I was very impressed too. And then I switched back and forth and forth and back and yeah, the OG, the OG is slightly better it it's the freshness of it it's it's for me it's very hard to to put in 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 words the the bernie grundman reissue has an overall extremely beautiful musicality and 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 warm vinyl touch beautiful beautiful it has this punch the separation is 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 great, really, really great. But the original has, although it's from 1978, has a certain freshness and, and a bit more punch. And even a tad more separation, a, a tad more of everything except what I do like better when it comes to the Bernie Grundman remaster is the low end. In my opinion, the Bernie Grundman remaster has the slightly better bass or low end overall. But on the other aspects of the recording, I preferred the original pressing. So, what does that mean? I mean, 25 bucks for the original here in Germany, by the way, for the American uh, original is very reasonable price. So, of course, this shiny, perfect, new, not smelly, although this, it doesn't smell in a way, has of course also his, uh, its touch. The pressing and if you yeah you, we can let's compare the the jackets I mean slightly different in the in the saturation and the color grading but good job good job here 
the jacket of this one is a bit sturdier the vinyl is a bit thicker i think we have here i'd, I'd say 108 160 180 the original is probably 120 140 um yeah but but 25 bucks for an incredible great sounding record this is of course quite tempting so first round <laughs> if you want to call it that goes to the original i'd say because we are talking here about really really great sounding editions in both cases i'd give a 9.2 for the bernie grundman and the original is a 9.8 it's it's a killer the original is a killer i have to say that i'm i'm to be quite honest i'm a bit surprised but i was when i put it on i said what <laughs> Well, that was quite an experience. Of course, I, I've listened to, uh, with a friend with Volker Bohmeyer from Einstein. I, I've listened to, to original jazz recordings, compared those. That was completely different, in my opinion. I've listened to some original uh, Clash recordings uh, a couple of days be before. But this, holy moly, try to get an original if you can. Otherwise, you have a perfect copy with the with the new audio file. Yeah, it's an audio file remaster. It's it's dead flat, silent, beautiful vinyl, great stuff. I will put down um, uh, links, those affiliate links in the in the video description down below. If you're interested in this release, you can uh, use those links for further information or buy the record and support the channel. Okay, can't wait for the other ones. I really can't wait it. It's fun. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.